Okay, Sonic 8474 signing in. Um, just that you know, I am going to show off this Super Monkey Ball. I had it on offer for the GameCube, it was like by one night, one night nine, and Game Station in um, the shop, and um, I thought I could make it clear. Um, look, um, at this is Sega Monkey Ball for Sega says Sega but licensed by Nintendo they always seem to do that a lot Nintendo GameCube basically you can see with yourself what the game is about you probably heard of it I'm not really good at games like these but I thought I'd pick it up since it's something to do with Sega and the uh, and the booklet is playing my most Sonic um booklets off. No, so you go Sonic All Stars Racing. I reckon this is far by the best one with Sonic in the car in my opinion because Sonic doesn't look right if he wasn't in the car in Sonic Drift Racing. But in this it sure beats the hell out of Sonic Drift Racing. And it's, I showed you this before, but I thought I'd show you a quick footage of it since I bought a new Sonic game and I want to celebrate Sonic's 20th anniversary. So this is the way to melt it down. So basically this one has banjo kazooies and bonus things, so it's like Sonic Drip but with banjo in it. Shame they didn't use Crash Bandicoot in all of them, to be honest quite surprised because Crash has a cart I mean, and in the Wii version they could have put Mario oh it's backwards uh, uh, yep great I like Mario Kart Wii I think it beats the you know it's so close but I prefer Mario Kart Wii that's my opinion um, about the, the games um, so Sonic Colors, best Sonic game they ever brought out on the Wii. Sorry, I know it's too, it's too much flashing, uh, because of the light. It's too much reflection because of the light. I'll hold it up. But because of the light, I can't, I can't show you properly that this was a pretty good game for that we Wi-Fi and all I think it when they advertise Wi-Fi better than the PlayStation and Xbox Sonic Colors, I like the case I love what they did with the disc, see Nintendo you could accomplish everything if you put your mind to it as Mega J Fox would say now, now I know a lot of people don't like seeing Sonic with the sword but I do I think this is a good accomplishment and a new revolution for Sonic and the Black Knight. Great game. You know what I think, in my opinion, if the next game did come out on the Wii of Sonic and it was sort of like based on stories, is Sonic and the Adventures of the Pirates or something. Sonic and the Adventures of Pirates, a Peter Pan parody maybe. But uh, see what I mean, they could have put Sonic on the front. This is why it'd be for Sonic Colors disc. Instead, but I still like this game. Jason Griffin did well in that Sonic game. Um, a lot of people keep bashing this one around. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog 06 or 2006. Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't know why, but it should be called Sonic the Hedgehog 3D. Just like the Flicky's Island. Don't worry about that, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. We're no um, thing. America's lucky they get Sonic the Hedgehog on the front, on the disc, really much. So, um, but then this came along and I love it a bit. I don't know if we can make that out. Guess what reason and why I bought this? Sonic Adventure and basically it's the original Dreamcast title would have and it has Sonic with the animation. Okay, it's not original. Crazy Taxi's good, Sega Bass Fishing is good. 
but I'd say it was okay, but I never played it probably. Um, Space Channel 5 Part 2, good idea, but I think they should have added the one as well, but it's still good. Shame that Sega didn't release like more games for this on one disc, but oh well. Shimano would have been a good option for it, a Sonic Adventure. Now these two, Sonic Adventure, <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, um, a plan to come for the GameCube called Player's Choice. Must have rated it the best because they wouldn't have done that. Basically, the only thing different is this one was done by Atari. So Atari helped them make this. I think it was because a lot of people were casual gamers who might have had this. Or maybe, you know, hard game, core gamers. Uh, or Sonic and started to like it. But he was trying to, you know, get people to play more hardcore game, Sonic games. I think that's cool because, I mean, a lot of old, old gamers were... If, I, if you have a look, you can see Atari on there, um, basically, which wouldn't on the original Sonic Venture 2 Battle. And this booklet is color. Not sure why it's color. It should have been black and white in my opinion, but I think they choose color because then you see the difference. That one doesn't say player's choice, it's not great. A plant in GameCube. They would recommend it if it's a good game, but I reckon this was my favorite. Sonic Venture 2 Battle. I think they put a lot of effort into this compared to the Dreamcast version. And that's the reason. If I ever see this on PlayStation Free Network, I'm going to keep the GameCube version of this. And I am really going to buy it again because I'm going to buy the battle version of Great Brit. And uh, I really do like Sonic Venture 2 Battle. Um, it, I really like it. Um, basically, because it's Sonic, and well, Sonic is my hero, and I had a childhood when I was young with them uh, called Adventures of Sonic and all the other cartoons but this kicks the old Sonic franchises out and keep the new ones in which is cool Shadow Hurst appearance uh, as you can see and if you notice they said Atari's on this one and they think it's just infograms Maybe Infograms got kicked out for some reason and Atari took over Infograms. Um, Sonic Heroes, the greatest greatest sequel to come back and the last ever one to do Ryan Drummond with Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. A way to kick off the franchise if you ask me. Not sure if you can make out Tails the Fox Egg, it's the blinking light. Okay, can you see? Knuckles, tails, look at all those Eggman robots. This was a good pickup. I I used to have this on GameCube originally, but I don't know what the hell I done with it. Heck I done with it. Um Sonic Heroes Sonic. even though this is black and white, I really like it, cause look there, who's there? Sonic I really, really like it if they spent more time with more things in the back. Uh, Sonic Heroes case book, like, I prefer the black manuals to be black and white so that they look more clear and more realistic than before. Because black and white is much clearer than colour, but some people say the colour is. Right, that's the uh, Sonic collection out of the way. Now let's get to the other nitty gritty part parts later after this. Say another for now with the after the collection.